What's good, world? It's your host, Infamous YB. Thank you guys for coming back for another episode of Keep It 100. This is episode 12. This is the hottest web show on the internet, period. On YouTube and iCoddle every Friday, for those of you who don't know. I thank you guys for rocking with me another week. Let's get right into it. First thing we're going to get into is the hot song. The hot song of the day is Music Is My Weapon. TJ, you heard him on previous episodes of Keep It 100. By me, TJ, and it's called You Got It. Check him out. Hit him up on Twitter at TJ2Cyber. That's TJT3O'Cyber. Hit him up. He followed back. And that's the hot song of the day. Music is my weapon. And now it's time for Fitted Hat Corner. Fitted Hat Corner? Man, we remixing it this week. It's Snapback Corner. You know what I mean? You see the Michelin S? Most people rock the uh, new era. I don't, I don't do that. You know what I mean? This is the Mitchie. You know what I mean? Adjustable fit. You see the sticker. I don't rock no buttons, no nothing like that, like my big bro do. But this the King's joint. You know what I mean? The Los Angeles. For the King James, green and black all day. Snap back corner. Ha! Ah. Hey, how you doing? This is Derek, aka Double O Mello, aka Mr. Dallas. I'm your boy that you come for for all your tech needs, wants, and desires. I do PS3s, Xbox 360s, iPhones, iPods, Apple TVs. need to reach me, you can reach me at 708-745-1092, and my email is allthingsgaming at gmail.com. Reporting live from Keep It 100, to my boy Infamous YB, one love and God bless. This boy Infamous YB, I'm here kicking it with my little brother Cass. And this is a segment I like to call a guy moment. Ah, moment. You damn skippy. Now we're going to talk about the trade, specifically Steve Nash to the Lakers. What you think about that? Yeah, I think it was a good transition from basically coming from the Suns to the Lakers because Lakers is always a good team. So on top of that, they got Kobe, Bynum. So it's going to be a lot of assists for Steve Nash. He a role player, you know what I'm saying? So it's really going to be a good trade. It's going to be a good year. Everybody trying to get a ring. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, no doubt. And we rooting for Miami over here, baby. No doubt, no doubt. And this was a guy moment. Uh, our moment. All right, now we're going to get into the hot topic of the day. The hot topic of the day is movies. One movie that I would have to tell you guys to go out and see, um, it would have to be the new Batman that's coming out. This Batman, they say it's an all-star cast. They got everybody from Vane in it to Catwoman. Um, they say it's just, it's action-packed. It's the best Batman since, you know, the last Batman, R.I.P. the Heath Ledger, who played the Joker in the last Batman. They say it's the ba best Batman to date. And that's saying something because there's been a lot of legendary Batmans that they came out with. So you know what I mean? Um... Whether you're into movies or you're not into movies, there's movies out there that you guys have to see. You know, you don't want to be left behind in the movie world. You know, you go to work and people, oh, did you see this movie? And you, dang, well, well what's that? You know, it's a different dynamic to different situations. Like, you know, if you want to have a movie night with your girl, you know, you can go get your love in basketball or, you know, something that's, that's hood. Yet it has a, 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 a nice message to it, like the woods or something like that. You know, if you're kicking it with your guys, y'all around chilling, you know, you can watch um, New Jersey Drive or, you know, you can watch Juice. You know, those are classes. Those are old movies, you know, Menace to Society, South Central, you know, those type of movies. Um, you know, you just kicking it on your own. You know, there's, you know, you can watch whatever you want to watch. Wink, wink. Give you guys my top 10 old school movies. The, it's not like I'm not gonna say my top 10, I'm just gonna give you guys 10 movies that I think you guys 
absolutely have to go out and see. But these are old school movies, so you you know you can Google them, you know Netflix, whatever it is you use to do your movies. Go and check these movies out. All right, so first I'm gonna start off with a movie called Running Scared. It's with Paul Walker, the guy who played in Fast and the Furious. This movie is a great movie. I'm not even gonna say good. It's a great movie. It's called Running Scared. Next, I'm going to get into um, a, a movie that is like, it, I haven't seen a movie like it yet. You know, I've seen some come close, but none is exactly like this movie. And it's the tournament with Ving Rhames. If you've never seen this movie, please go out and check it. For me, go out and check it, please. That's the tournament with Ving Rhames. Um, the next movie I want to get into is War with Jason Statham and... Jet Li. If you haven't seen this movie, it's action packed. It got twist turns the whole now. Um, the next thing I'm going to get into is Knock Around Guys with Vin Diesel. If you've never seen this movie, it's a great mafia movie. It is it's real good. I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't. Next, I'm going to tell you to go watch Identity. If you never watched Identity, what are you doing with your life? For real. This movie, you won't even see the ending coming. Next, I'm going to get into The Uninvited. If anybody ever watched The Uninvited, you already know this is a classic. A classic movie, The Uninvited. Um, the ne next, I'm going to get into Intensity. Intensity is one of my favorites because it has so many plots and so many schemes and so many twists and turns that it's just, it's, it's crazy. Um, I'm going to get in. Next, I'm going to say The Devil's Rejects. Uh, the movie came out years ago, and I just watched it like last year, and I gotta say it was a good movie. I liked it. You know, this is one of the movies where you root for the bad guy. You know, um, but next I'm gonna get a booty call for some reason with Jamie Foxx and Vivica A. Fox. That's an old movie. Go check that out, booty call, Jamie Foxx. Um, and another movie, I'm gonna go ahead and throw. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a curveball, but um, another movie that. I'm not sure if people seen or not. It's the Pursuit of Happiness with Cooper Gooden Jr. and Beyonce. It's, you know, a love story, churchy, singing, comedy. You know, it, 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 it mesh well with each other. But those 10 movies, I promise you, are worth watching. So for me, Infamous YB, to all you guys out there in web, web TV land, you know, go watch those movies. You know, it, it, it's worth to watch. I appreciate it. This is episode 12 of Keep It 100. D-G-O-Y-B-E-N-T slash M-O-B Elite. It's the mob, baby. What's a movie that you recommend people go out and see as of right now? As of right now, I would say go out to see Ted. The movie is just all around funny humor. Uh, it has a good story, even though a lot of people just saying that, hey, it's just a teddy bear that does foul things that adults would do, but it's more on the line of it does have a message of just being a kid and learning how to be less serious about life and just enjoying yourself. So, King James, can I ask you a quick question? Of course, of course, of course. What's a movie that you either seen previews for or heard of that you think people should actually go out and see? You know what? When did Abraham Lincoln become a vampire slayer? Hmm. Tell him. When did that happen? I missed that in the history books, but they explained that in the in, in, in the uh, previews. So I ain't going to trip. But I, I, I'd say see that. You know what I mean? One hmm. of our presidents slaying vampires like Buffy out there, yo. I'm seeing it. Kev, can I ask you a quick question? No doubt. What you think is a movie that people just gotta go out and see? Man, that's a good one. Savages. Savages. Come out July 6th tomorrow. Must go see. Action, sex, drugs, violence, the whole nine. Gotta go see it. Savages. July 6th. Check it out. One of them niggas is that hot because they could freestyle all day, but when it comes to making real songs, niggas don't ever do nothing. But who you know really, who really already done made the real songs, got the buzz? Because L.E.P. done did a lot over here, and they 
they got a, a video in New York on the New York street. So so yeah. I was trying to LEP. get it. And they got video on the New York they stage. They wear black t-shirts with red lettering? Hell yeah. That's them niggas. And they got a picture of the smiley face on there? Right. Okay. That's, that's the niggas okay. I seen. Okay. That's, that's the niggas I seen. See, I, they, I, they I remember on um, visuals. Not always names. I remember. Let's get on time. Sexy little model walking on your left hand side. That look like your wife, family. And she wear glasses. She wear glasses too, sweetheart. You should be a model glasses. inside of my man's YouTube footage right here. He needs you desperately. No, he will have a million views if you step in. Yo, shout out to Mooka Valley, DGOIB. I'm a nigga Johnny Phillips. You know what I'm saying? I go by Sean Struggles. Leave without entertainment. Roadblock is the name. Strictly NY to shot Town right now. Definitely, you know what I mean? Some exclusive definitely. footage. I appreciate niggas that you know uh, uh, support it, support each other. That's about real, real hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And that is what it is. It happened like that. Spontane YB, strictly NY to Shot Town right now. It's your boy Jay Streets. AKA King James, uh, rocking with the Keep It 100. Throw your ones up. This is a quick, I don't even know if it's a 16 or not, I just be spitting bars, but this is Spaz on them, featuring my guy Doughboy, uh, Doughboy Music. You can follow him on Twitter. Um, it's simpler said than done, it's easier than it look. My rhymes stem from the times repeating my open books. Who worries about a hook when you leaving these niggas shook? Black mask in the burner, let's see who's a better crook. Apron hat and bacon soda, let's see who's a better cook. How you better than the king when you struggling as a rook? It's simple as said and put. I ain't messing with you small cats. Dude, I'm 90s Nickelodeon, I'm all that. I lost a couple thoughts, so show me where the mall's at. Scared the rhymes to leave my mind, I bought a couple ball caps. J Street's got all these dudes doing mixtapes. Hearing feedback, man, them chickens say the shit's weight. That mean the track's dope, if you ain't get it, then you're late. Puzzle while I'm sitting on the toilet, get your sh straight. Hip-hop, dog, I'm trying to keep it alive, but it's letting we rappers in, and truthfully, that's why I died. Nas pronounced dead like 05, and these lame dudes started busting their way in how the F it survive. Especially with two of the greatest up in the sky, man, I'm trying to get it revived, but it just gotta let me buy. I wrote these letters, packaged them up, and licked that envelope, and stamped it with a game changer that I ain't never sent before. Can these niggas F with my written? Is you kidding? No. Because I dropped more bars than gay niggas in prison, so King James, easy. That's Keep It 100, that's my little brother. Powerful, so I use it as a weapon. Talk to speak the truth, so it proves to be a mess. Listen to my first song when I was only 11, and then listen to the new ones looking to check my progression. And I can say I'm getting better. Man, it's been a while coming here just to hear my family say that they're proud of me. Spend my first rounds at six, I can say I'm proud of it. Cause reminiscing can take a find and make a smile of it. I'm a star, so I'm shooting up above. I went as gambling, they would shoot a couple up. I don't see myself risking it to lose a couple does, but instead getting paid just for doing what I love. Which is making music, man, I'm all about it. Seems like everywhere I go, there was always someone who doubted. And right next to him, there was always something worth it. So I wrote a couple verses and they found my way around it. My music kept me away from from the street life, still entertained by the things that I've seen twice. But I'd rather be here where I am than to be behind bars with no chance for me to see life. Yeah, or at least that's what my mom say. And every day, yeah, the year should be a calm day. But if it wasn't, then the music was my calm place. So I turned to drawing just to keep me out of harm's way. They say I ain't the person that I ought to be Proving to be the same person that I thought I'd be And the person I thought I'd be is a prodigy And there is still a lot to see, so I expect a lot from me 